<laughs> the, the, the mic is helpful. Yeah. yeah. So here in the exhibitor hall with Swivel, and I've known this company before their product even came out. I have one of the the original ones um, that wasn't even designed for an iPad, but I'd still stuck my iPad on there, and the motors didn't like it that much, but <laughs> it would still work. Um, so it's so almost like a robotic cameraman, right? You can it, it follows you. And so I'm here with Scott. Scott Caulfield. Scott Caulfield. And he's going to tell us a little bit about Swivel and, and how teachers have been using it. Yeah, so I mean... Do you, you know, mind holding the mic? And I can... Oh, yeah. not a pro- Oh, yeah. Okay. I got it. I like the mic. It's a nice little mic rig you got going on. So so, uh, TonyV.me slash microphone. Everybody asks in the, in the Periscope. So. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. So what, what Swivel's going to do is, move, using this marker right here, you can see on the uh, iPad right there, it's going to follow me around wherever I go in the classroom. I won't get too far. I know the, I know the mic core we got right there. I, I, it seems so archaic that I have to, that I have to hold this mic, <laughs> uh, hold, move and to follow you around, right? So. One of these days we'll get to wireless mic technology. We have it here. So the, the, the marker right here is actually going to not only follow me, but it's also going to capture video and the audio together. I got your back. You're good. So this is an audio capture as well. And so you'll see... The device there is going to move back and forth. So we found it a great way for teachers to be able to capture video in their classroom. Um, so it's fantastic, like for um, teacher evaluations, you know, for cadres, groups who want to work together um, to learn more about, you know, how they're doing their teaching, and also teachers who want to do any kind of, you know, flip classroom or just different ways to use video in the classroom. There's thousands of ways to use video in the classroom. We found the biggest hurdle is how do you capture video in the classroom. And this really helps do that, is it allows you to just get very easily get video captured. And then what you do with that video, that's, I mean, two-thirds of the session it is to hear about how you use video in the classroom. Yeah. What we're trying to do is help you get the video from your classroom. So if you want to do a lesson on, like I was a social studies teacher, if I want to do a lesson on, like, you know, Gettysburg, I don't have to redo, oh, yeah, oh, yeah there we go, video on video. It's meta. The world's about to, I know. <laughs> Um, you know, I don't need to go back after school and do a video with me in front of a whiteboard and put a bunch of effects in. I can just capture exactly what I did in class that day. So what's, what's some of the really cool innovations you've seen teachers do with the Swivel? I mean, some of the te- one teacher's been doing, uh, Amanda Fox has done some really good stuff. She's on Twitter. If you search Amanda Fox, um, one of the cool things that she's done is she uses it to, to co-teach with herself. So she videos herself, and then the next year, the next time she reteaches, she actually has video of her doing the lesson, and she stops it and then talks over herself. So instead of using, like, a Khan Academy video or something else, she actually co-teaches with herself and has video of herself, and then she interrupts herself and pauses it and stops. Um, so we've seen some really good stuff with, like, that. And we have What's a lo- her name again? Amanda Fox. Amanda, and just Amanda F-O-X. Fox. Yep. Right. Um, we've had some teachers use this as a, as a heads-up display, so we, I can see my content there. So they use it as like a heads-up display. So we're seeing a lot of really innovative uh, ways teachers are using it. Is how how can you like so? Let's say that I am doing a, a lesson. It, it captures the teacher. Is there any way to capture like if you have slides or? Yeah. So what like I have that. running right here is I actually have my PowerPoint loaded up, and so using my marker right there, I can actually go through the slides. Uh, see, when my original swivel didn't do yeah, this. Yeah, I didn't do this. <laughs> so I can go through my content, and then when I'm done, it's going to create a video. I'll actually start recording. Hit that button. See the red light going? Yeah, well, we, let's move so we can... Oh, yes. All right, all right. It follows us. <laughs> it's always facing us, even though we're rotating. That's I know, and so we can okay. go through all of our slides. When I'm done, I'm going to hit stop recording. And so now I can go up here to my app, and what you'll see is I've created a video that has both video and slides together. Oh, that's cool. And it's fully connected, so I can actually slide through and go right to the one that I want to click on. So no longer if you send your students a video and a PowerPoint together, it's all just in one piece. Oh, that's awesome. And that that clicker has a built-in mic in it. It follows you, and sound is so important. We we started talking about this microphone. I mean, if if your students can't hear you, it's, it's not going to matter what's in your video. And you can have a second one of these that will capture just audio. Uh-huh. So I can have a second one connected to my swivel, and so I can pass around to students. They'll just pick up audio. Oh, you, you we keep on been, adding stuff, I have, know. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't checked out swivel for, for like a year. You yeah, guys we're, have really listened to teacher feedback, we're trying. We're trying to make a better and a better teacher capture solution, yes. Terrific. Well, thanks for sharing. No problem. Thanks, Troy. All right.